Hello there, now it's exactly one year since we started the breeding process of Dynasties Hercules Hercules and if you go back in the playlist you will see that uh, we started with a special setting of the box we put the tiny small L1 larvae in it was uh, last November, that's about uh, 8 to 9 months ago now I already checked it 3 weeks ago but I forgot to make a film so I wanna um, give you a chance to see what happened in this year and with this kind of special setting for the breeding box of Dynastis Hercules and also Megasoma Elephas uh, I keep in the same uh, setup of the breeding container so let's have a look here is a box um, we checked it um, yeah, three weeks ago so we know that for um, oh here is certain 21st of uh, June we checked that uh, a little bit more than a month ago and um, there were four L3 larvae in, so let's have a look how they grow in one ear. Here's a small one, very small one on the top. This is an L2. And the substrate is quite dry. And, and here in the bottom of the box you see the bigger ones. That's already an L3 here. Yeah, and also here in the bottom, you see uh, this is probably also an L3. Yes, this is also an L3 larva of Dynastis Hercules. So you see, in about one year, um, they become L3 and have a weight of 30 around 30 grams now each. This one is 30, and this one. It's the same also, 28 grams. So they're really nice and big ones here. Yeah, and of course they are very um, angry that I take them out now already again. Once, one month ago I did it already. So what I do for the big ones, I prepare for them a new container so that I have only two of them in a 22 liter box and this I will show you now so this is uh, just to start with and if you want you can go back to see it in the video that I made one year ago so I have this um, beech wood pellet and you must be sure that it's really um, wood uh, sawdust that have not that was not uh, in touch with chemicals and um, that it's really from either beech or oak that would be very good and with these blocks I covered the bottom of the box and the main idea was uh, were two things first that it's not it cannot become too um, humid on the bottom of the box because normally if you keep them for one year in a box like this with all the stuff mostly it turns too uh, wet and then uh, worms arrive and then the substrate is going to change to an, a, a condition that the larvae don't really like so just cover it because this can suck up a lot of the excess water in the substrate and then I add uh, big chunks of white rot rotten wood here in this box. I have some of them also here. For example, this is a, a nice block. And it's also so that they have a lot of white rotten wood to chew on. And then at the end you can just fill it with a uh, normal flake soil substrate and of course it's, it's you can compact it also if you like so that so that there is not a lot of air space in between the wood blocks like this so. and yes that's about it 
and then I just placed the two lorry back in here and the small one I put back in the other uh, box and then you can cover it with some more material also with some leaves would be nice so that they also have some uh, leaf leafy material uh, here is some some clay that's not the ideal thing here for this box but uh, but this uh, rotten leaves here that's a very nice thing so I have some more of this I hope yeah here or flake soil just to cover it like this and then breeding can go on we will see what happened in around half an year probably so that's um, around January February next year we, we go to see how good they have developed here's a wood piece from the other box so let's see there should be one more uh, big larva here this one I take out again let's see whether we find it down here somewhere the substrate if you have a look into the substrate now we also covered the bottom of the box with this with this uh, beach pellets and yes they are still he still here but also you see the the fresh pellet of the larva so they they can all through this uh, pellet somewhere so let's see whether whether we can find the other larva somewhere here it is you see what she did here is a here's the beach pellets this is a, after about one month if it goes on a mushroom will arrive and start to eat up all this um, wooden material of the beech wood pellets and as you can see here now the larva dives down into this beech wood pellets and starts eating them I mean this is not white rotten wood well, let's understand right this is not white rotten wood it starts rotting now with the help of the uh, microorganisms in the soil but when I just put it into the box it's uh, completely normal dried wood but it's interesting to see how fast this uh, wood pellets turn into something that the larvae uh, can eat and also that they can grow very well from them so yeah we have seen that there's another it's the third one also here so they have all survived here and the small one I put it back here somewhere in the edge and then I put this big oak block also back probably like this okay and cover it again with the rest of the material so you see this is a really easy way to grow dynasties or megasoma larvae so you don't have to change the substrate every month um, if you don't have too many in one box you can wait for half a year and that's what we do here thanks for watching